couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lick and Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lick and Riff, in which we're gonna learn Tragedy, the classic Bee Gees song. First, I'm gonna play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. So as you can see, even before we begin, there's nothing simple about any BG song. Um, it's always a plethora of key changes and uh, quality changes between sad and happy and energetic and depressing. So this song kind of embodies all of that pretty, pretty nicely. It's got everything uh, the Bee Gees know how to do. So uh, we have the intro, the verse, the chorus, and the little solo interlude there. So um, for the intro you start with B minor and you play the bass, of course, two on the fifth string, with four on the third string, two, three on the second string, twice. And you can do it any way you like, you can add rhythm. Okay, or keep it dramatic. Then you play E minor, okay, open strings, one, two, three, and six, and then, okay, three, two, zero on the second string, I harmonize with the third string, okay, and then immediately a slide to seven on the E string, and then, okay, five, five on the E string into A. So you can do, okay, this, the bar A, or I prefer this, okay, barring A. Uh, the second fret for the A chord, okay, the open fifth string remains open and okay, with the high A note, five on the E string, so it's five, two, two, okay? So um, that's uh, the first line. Okay? And then you have, okay? It's zero, two, three, zero on the second string, and you play a G chord with the two, okay? With uh, the B flat note. Okay, you can harmonize okay, with strings three and four. Okay? And then you have, okay, a D chord any way you wanna play it, but with zero on the third string and then two again. Okay, so. Way you want to play it any way that fits your own style and then you have the 
There is a uh, dramatic um, string line. Okay, so it's D5 basically. It's 2 and 0 on strings 3 and 4 twice. And then you play the A string, but you mute it. Okay, you mute it. You don't play it together. Okay, you don't play it together. You play. Okay, you mute it. Okay, you, then you play the A note and the A bass, the open A string. The fifth string, you mute it, and then you play okay, the D5 again twice. And you can slap for the mute. Okay? And that way you get the rhythm, uh, the groove. Okay? Kind of like a ready-made groove. Okay? Because you need to mute anyway. Okay? So you put your hand down. And you play this eight times. And then you start the verse. So again, B minor, E minor, A, G, and then D. Yeah, and of course you can play the G, the remaining empty space, any way you like. Okay, any way that fits your own style. Then the strength part. Then you start the verse fairly easily, but it goes off the rails pretty quickly. Uh, you start with D and you play okay, 3 2 2 on the E string with the D chord. And then 3 3 2 0, 3 on the second string, and then 3 2 2 again. Okay? And you can play the string line afterwards. So. Okay. And then you can harmonize. Okay, so it's seven and eight on strings one and two, then five and seven, twice. Okay, with the D bass going, you can play it with any, any note you play. And then again, seven, eight, five, seven, three and five, two and three, back to D, and then three, two, two on the E string with the D chord. Okay, so slowly. Okay, this is D. Now you can play the string line again. Then you have the D chord up two frets to E, so it's four five four, and you play five four four on the E string. The bass note is E, the sixth string. And then, okay, five four again, then two zero, just by themselves. Okay, so you can play the bass again. Okay, and then you jump up here. Okay, it's a bar on nine for uh, F sharp seven, bar on nine, and it's 12, 11, 11 on the second string, and you can harmonize it with nine on the third string because it's F sharp seven. So, okay, and the bass note is nine on the A string, if you can call it a bass note, it's not a real bass note, but it's the lowest note of this chord. So 12, 11, 11 on the second string. And then again, uh, sorry, okay, then you have 12, 12, 11, 12 on the second string, 9 on the E string, it's the bar, so, um, and then you have this, okay, it's E again, the sixth string, with 9, 9, 9 on strings uh, 1, 2, and 3, and then 7, 9, 9, twice. So basically it's 9 and 9 on strings 2 and 3 with 9, 7, 7 on the E string. And then again. And then you have a G chord with 10, 9, 7, 7 on the E string twice. So we're going to let go of the low G bass and we're going to play this. Okay, a G over D chord. Um, so it's 10, 9, 7, 7 with strings 2, 3, and 4. then they wait a moment for the drama and then you have the chorus okay so once again D you can
can do the string part, harmony part. Uh, sorry, I'm playing it with A. D. String part. Two frets up. Up to nine. Then E again. G. You can vibrate it for added drama if you like. And then you have um, okay, B minor, um, bar on seven, it's strings one, two, three, and six, and there's no real nice way to play this note three times. Okay? That's one of the limitations of the guitar. Okay, so just play it twice. Okay? Or play the, the three notes, tragedy, tragedy, play it like that. Okay? Because it's an arrangement, it's not really singing. Yeah, you can break it down any way you like. Just don't do... Yeah, it doesn't sound that good. There's no real way to play three notes fast on the guitar without it sounding bad. Yeah, even if you pick it yeah, with a pick. Um, unless you're a flamenco player and then you're playing this on a classical guitar and you do this and it sounds good. Yeah, so you can use two fingers if you like. Yeah, and then... Then it sounds a little bit better, but in my opinion, again, it's the same note three times. It's not supposed to be a tremolo, so just let it go. Okay? Just play it. Okay? Another way. Um, and then you have the F sharp 7 again, but it's F sharp minor 7 this time. Okay? I told you, the BGs always play around with changing keys. The key changed about four times already. Okay? Try, try to... Yeah, it's a great exercise to try to follow them around. Um, and then you have, okay, okay, now it's uh, the same bar on 9, okay, with 9 and 9 on strings, 3 and uh, 5 being the harmony, and it's 12, 12, il, um, instead of 11, you have 10, ten uh, 12, 12, 10, 10 on the second string, so, okay, and then you have, okay, it's 10, 10, 9 on the E string, 12 on the B string. So, okay, all with the, the, the same harmony. And then you repeat it. And then you have 7, 7, 7 again, but with E minor 7. So it's a D shape, this time on 7, okay? Okay, with the 6th string, so it's 7, 8, 7. Okay, it's because this is E minor 7, it has these notes in it. So, and then, 10, uh, sorry, uh, 7, 7 again, and then 9, 10 on the E string, and then the D uh, shape goes up two more frets to 9. Okay, we played it on 2, we played it on 4, we now played it on 7, now we're gonna play it on 9. And this is A, 9, 10, 9 with the A string. Okay, so it's... Um, okay, 9, 10, and then 9 again with A. And then... Okay, um, it's uh, 7 on the uh, E string again, and 10 on the B string, and then... The B minor again, okay, bar on 7. So it's the same note harmonized differently. Um, the 12 on the second string is also the same note, it's the B note. So you have the same note harmonized with four different chords. Right? Um, as well as on, uh, well, actually with three different chords. Sorry. Um, and then after you do this, um, twice. Sorry. Okay. It's G to F sharp. Um, three on the second string, two on the second string with G. Open second string, F sharp with three on the third string as the melody note. 
Okay? This is the first time around. The second time around, it's a different melody. It's... Okay? It's three on the second string, open E string with G, three on the second string, and then two on the second string with F sharp. So it's two different melodies. You can choose between them. Okay? If you choose to play it twice, okay? The verse and the chorus. And then, the solo interlude, um, you can repeat the chorus if you like, and then uh, you have a solo interlude, which is kind of like the intro, but a little bit different. Okay? Um, and the harmony there is a little bit iffy, and to play it on guitar, I had to simplify the ending just a little bit. Okay, so you start with B minor and E minor like the intro. And then, okay, after the 3 to 0 for E minor on the second string, you play 3 on the third string, 2 on the second. Okay? Okay? And then B minor again. And then you have this. Okay? It's F sharp with 5 3 2 on the E string. Okay? So just put the bar on with 3 on the third string. Okay? And play strings 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay? And then 0, 2, 3 on the second string with E minor, so you can harmonize with the third string. Okay? And then you have 3 again with G. Okay? And then the chorus again. Okay? So that's the interlude. Um... And then the chorus again, and you can end on... Okay? Just uh, tragedy. Slide it down because you're a guitar player, and uh, that's the tools we have at our disposal. We have no orchestra hit to hit. Uh, so you can download the tab in the description. You'll find the link to download the tab from the website. Okay, it's right below the video, and also a Patreon uh, link if you'd like to give something back because all the lessons, all the tabs here are for free. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Everything is for free, waiting for you. Uh, but if you want to give something back anyway, it all goes right back into your guitar education, into making these lessons, okay? Arrangement lessons, theory lessons, improvisation lessons, soloing lessons, blues lessons, everything uh, that has to do with music and guitar. Um, it takes a lot of time and effort, and if you want to help out, I'd be more than grateful to you, and I thank you in advance for your generosity. So thank you for watching this. Download the tab, have fun, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.